Hey there. Hey there for Dragonfly and me friends. Welcome to another episode of Jean in the Kitchen. If this is your first time here, I'm Jean Roman and you are at For Dragonflies and Me, where I teach all things gardening and all things cooking. Um, mostly mostly uh, main dishes. I do bake, but that's not always um, priority with me. We are more of a comfort food family. But um, if you have never been here before and you are not subscribed, be sure if you find value in this video that you hit the subscribe button and smash that like button as well. So a little uh, information. Usually what I do at my video is I am going to prepare the dish and then you're going to get to see the finished product along with the ingredients and the directions over at my blog at fordragonfliesandme.com. So today's recipe, I am making cabbage rolls. Um, I am the author of Lovingly Seasoned Eats and Treats. It is a wonderful cookbook that I and a friend of mine put together during my Mennonite days. And it has almost a thousand recipes over 500 pages. You can purchase this in a beautiful spiral bound soft cover edition. And now new, uh, you can purchase a downloadable PDF version of this incredible cookbook. Sold over 25,000 copies across Canada and the US. And it is a favorite of many. You can actually see a list of testimonials at my website at fordragonfliesandme.com and where you can purchase that. Links are gonna be in the description below. But moving on oh this recipe um is actually my cabbage roll casserole recipe and if you own this cookbook you can find this on page 108. today i'm actually making cabbage rolls and so that's why i decided oh you know what i'm gonna do a video on this to let you guys see how easy cabbage rolls really are i know that you know this is something that we usually have at some holiday dinner so christmas thanksgiving easter um, those are the three times of year because a lot of times, you know, when you're baking or making a lot of them for a large family, I have six kids plus their partners and grandkids. So I'm usually feeding up to 20 people. And so obviously I got to make a significant amount. My daughter or Dave will usually help me with this, but I'm making a small batch today just for Dave. Um, and then I'm also going to put a small batch in the freezer for the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cook on or turn on my nifty difty um, countertop oven that Dave turned me on to. And so I've already heat, got this heated up. You can start with cold water. You can start with hot water. But the first thing I'm going to do is I have a nice, big, beautiful head of cabbage. And I'd say this baby's about probably four pounds. So what the first thing that main trick to cabbage rolls for easy uh, removal of leaves is I'm gonna show you how to cut into the core. And right there, that's the core, the stem of the cabbage. So you wanna take a nice sharp knife and right about, going out about an inch or so, a half an inch depending, you're gonna take your knife carefully, blade away from you, and you're gonna kinda go in and you're gonna cut it, making sure that all four cuts are connected because you're, that's how you're going to pull off the leaves. So there we go. I'm going to actually do this one a little bit this way. For a so there we go. So as you can see, there's four cuts and that's going to make it, it easy for me. So now the second trick to putting this in, again, being very careful, I have my water heated already because I want to show you exactly how to roll one. So I'm going to be very careful. I'm actually going to use a couple large serving forks and I'm going to use one to help me get it in. The key here is to stem and up. You do not want to put your stem end down because it will not be able to get the leaves really easily. So we're going to put this into this boiling water very carefully. Again, not to burn myself. And I actually have a little bit too much water in there, but we're going to call her good. And so now I'm going to let that cook and it is going to steam or boil the outer cabbages and it's going to slowly cook in but i'm not waiting for that whole head of cabbage to cook why because if i waited for the inner leaves to be cooked before the while the outer ones are the outer ones are going to be mush i don't want them fully cooked i want those leaves to be about 75 percent cooked so that they don't tear when i'm using uh wrapping them in the filling 
and so that I can maneuver them easily. So they're gotta be cooked enough so they don't crack when they're like they would when they're raw, but not cooked enough to where they rip when I'm maneuvering them. So while I'm letting those outer leaves, the couple outer leaves, and I can already see they're starting to come off, and I'm gonna be able to pull those. I'm gonna have a bowl ready for that. And again, I have two large serving forks that I'm gonna be able to peel those leaves off with. But in the meantime, and just a reminder, all of the complete list of ingredients is going to be at my blog at fordragonfliesandme.com. So now I have another large bowl and I have two pounds of meat. In this, uh, I have one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground pork and no seasonings. So I'm going to put that in this larger bowl and I'm actually gonna take these off. Should have done that before. And I'm also going to take my ring off because I don't want to get meat and everything in it. So there we go. I'm going to step back one second here. I did take off the outer leaf of the cabbage. You may need to take one or two off because they are going to be yucky. So you don't want to use that. So, okay. So I have my ground beef in my bowl. I'm going to push it out. So now I took about one medium sized yellow onion, sweet yellow onion, and I'm going to put that in there as well. And then I have two eggs. I'm gonna break those up. I'm gonna save those eggshells for my garden though. If you are new to uh, my blog, I do all kinds of episodes on gardening as well as cooking. And then I have a couple teaspoons of minced garlic and then I have some salt and pepper. And I'm going to put that all in there. So before I add my tomato juice, my tomato sauce and my rice, I'm going to get these blended in a bit. And again, I'm watching my uh, cabbage so that it is cooking nicely. I'm actually gonna probably take those outer leaves, a couple of the outer leaves off here in a second. I have some tomato sauce that is going to go into the bottom of my baking dish. So you can mince these onions. I, we love onion. So it's like, I want to be able to taste and see my onion. So there we go. Now the seasonings, the eggs and the onions are nice and thoroughly mixed. I'm going to rinse my hands off now. And I'm going to remove one, maybe two of the outer leaves of my cabbage. Now, this is also really i'm gonna push my camera over a little bit or my oven here so that you guys can see this a little bit better there we go there we go so now i'm taking both my forks and i am carefully lifting kind of turning that cabbage over so that I can get this leaf off. And I want to kind of get it from the stem end because it's going to be bigger. So there we go. I put that in the bowl and I'm going to move on to the next leaf because I can tell that these are perfect. So I'm going to carefully roll, careful not to burn yourself. Again, there we go, another big, beautiful leaf. And I think I'm going to take one more off. And generally what you're going to be doing is you're going to be rolling and while well, some of the cabbages are still cooking, the cabbage leaves are still cooking. So I'm carefully rolling this away so that I can get that leaf out. And I don't, I want to be really careful so that I'm not poking holes in that leaf because it will rip. So careful. This is a little bit bigger of a head of cabbage than I usually get and so my pot is like hey we are tight and so I'm doing some maneuvering so there's four nice leaves so I'm gonna let the other ones cook for a little bit more and in the meantime I'm going to add my rice and I'm using basmati rice right now you can use minute rice you can use brown rice you can use whatever you want so I'm gonna blend that in to my meat and again I'm using my hand so that it gets nice and blended I usually have about equal parts 
rice with my meat. You again can use, you can either pre-cook your rice. I actually do. Um, you can put it in raw with the meat. My meat is raw. My rice is cooked. Um, especially if I'm using like a basmati or a jasmine because I, my biggest pet peeve is having a cabbage roll and crunchy rice. Crunchy rice, right folks? I mean, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I am gonna blend this in to where, it's gonna be about that consistency. So you can kind of see right there. And I'm gonna blend it a little bit more, I'll wash my hand, I'm gonna take a couple more leaves off. My cabbage is cooking beautifully. Once I get a couple more leaves off, I'm gonna add some of the tomato juice and blend that in. All right, one second. Okay, there we go. And let's get a couple more leaves. So if you hear Frankie clicking around in the background, he's like, mom, what are you doing? If you uh, follow me on Facebook, you know exactly who Frankie is. I do Frankie Fridays every Friday. And Frank just got his own TikTok page and he's outdone me in Instagram. He's already got over 700 followers in less than a week, friends. So cute pics or videos of Frank on his TikTok page. It's Frank the Pug Love L-U-V. So if you guys wanna see Frankie in action, visit him over there. So I'm gonna keep taking these leaves off. So there's a few more. And I'm gonna take one more and then let that cook a little bit more. So I'm letting these cool off as well. So now I'm gonna add some of my tomato juice. And this is a one quart and 14 ounce can. And then I also have another jar of, or I'm sorry, a can of tomato sauce. So you're gonna use this both in your meat and rice like this, and you need this sauce. And don't think, oh my gosh, this is so sloppy. It's, it's way too runny that rice is going to absorb every single drop of this. So you want more than less, because just like hard rice, dried out cabbage rolls are not good. And this was a family favorite. Uh, my grandmother and my mom, I know I always talk about them a lot, and um, how they always cooked and all the delicious foods that we had growing up. Well, cabbage rolls was um, a favorite in our house. I'm gonna add about another cup. So I've added about three cups. And again, this is gonna be, it's gonna be runny. So the next step after I'm done blending this in, because I want it to be nice and runny, is I'm going to take some of that sauce or the juice and I'm going to put it on the bottom of my baking dish. And I'm just using a small baking dish. I think these are six by 12, six by 13s or a nine, no, it's not a nine by 13. So, okay, so nice. So you can kind of see the consistency. It's sloppy, sloppy. So I'm gonna rinse my hands off again. Lots of hand washing in this. Okay, dry that off. Alrighty, now, move over my dirty dishes. Put those away. Another thing I always advocate is clean as you go. Clean as you go, friends, it's so much easier. So I'm gonna move this over here and I'm going to bring my baking dish. But before I do, I'm going to take off a couple more leaves. And sometimes people are like, well, how far do you know to go? Like how many leaves do you wanna take? Well, generally, I know some people think, oh, once they start turning white like this, they're not as good. Not true. They are just as good and you can use them and as you guys can see i think what this is we've been videoing now not quite 15 minutes and this large head of cabbage is almost done so you really want to be able to work at it together so i'm going to leave those in for a little bit longer and now like i said i'm going to take this baking dish right here and i'm going to take about a cup of the or two cups 
two cups of the tomato juice and put that in there. So I'm going to work away from those hot leaves I just took out and I am going to take a leaf. Now, trick to this, these are big leaves. I can actually get two cabbage out of here, but number one thing actually, I don't think you can see me doing this, I'm gonna move this. So the stem of the cabbage, this part right here, the core, you do not want that in your cabbage roll. So this one kind of tore, this was an outer leaf, but what I'm gonna do is I'm cutting that center out like that. So it's kind of like a V. And if you've watched me um, with kale, you will have seen that we also take out the rib is what it's referred to. This cabbage leaf is a little shot. So I'm actually gonna leave this one over to the side and I'll do that one later. I wanna show you guys how to do this with a nice leaf. So here's a nice leaf. It's got a couple tears in it, but I'll be able to work around there. So there it is again. And I'm going to cut that rib out. So just like that, there it is again, toss that to the side. And again, this is a super big leaf. So I'm gonna cut it into, we're gonna get two cabbage out of there. So there we go. Now there's a hole in there, but I will be able to work around that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have a large, large serving spoon. And I am going to look at this leaf and see which is the best way to roll it. So you want to be able to kind of start at the base of it to where the leaf naturally curls. And then I'm gonna take a nice big heaping spoonful of it. So you can see that that I'm folding in that way. This is the side that has a little tear in it. So I'm gonna put that one, tuck that one in like that. And I'm gonna bring over the other side and I'm gonna fold it again. I don't need all this extra cabbage. So I'm gonna cut that off. So there I have a perfectly rolled. It did tear a little bit there, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna put that right in there. So there we go, there's one. Now I'm gonna take that other side of the leaf and I'm gonna take another nice big spoonful. That's a little bit too much. And I'm gonna do the same thing, actually start that way. There's that one, I'm gonna roll in, roll in. And this one, I'm gonna leave that end and then I'm gonna put that one right beside that. So now I'm gonna take another leaf and I'm going to shut this water off now because these cabbages are done. So one more time, there's the leaf and you can see the bottom is the natural roll. So I'm going to cut the rib out of the center. And again, this is a big leaf and I'm going to cut this one in half as well. So I have two nice size. If you have a big head of cabbage, you can do this. I mean, if you wanna do the whole leaf, you can, but I'm kind of trying to do it a little more practical in size. So again, I'm going to keep that whole roll and do that. So here we go again, one more time. Easy peasy folks, roll, fold, fold, roll and put in there so there we go so i am going to finish doing these and i will be posting this video with the link to the how to and let me know your comments um, i love your feedback i want to know how do you make your cabbage rolls uh do you prefer the cabbage roll casserole or the actual cabbage rolls and uh, let me know if there's a different ingredient that you use. I always love your feedback. So as always friends, if you found value in this video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Be sure to follow me at my social media platforms on both Facebook and Instagram, always for dragonflies and me. And uh, also my podcast and my blog at fordragonfliesandme.com. So like I always say friends, remember to eat fresh, shop local, and have a happy day. See you soon.